stocks, but there is an inverse relationship with gold and the stock market. And oftentimes, you don't see gold working in lockstep with the stock market. No. And even recently, when you see these big swings down in the equities, you see good swings up in gold. Recently, though, gold has been sort of tracking uh, what's going on with the, with the major markets. So I think it's very interesting. Uh, we're, we, you know, it's interesting on this program because we get emails from you viewers all the time about companies that we should be taking a look at. Uh, and one company that we were uh, that we were made aware of is Skeena Resources, S K E E N A Resources. Uh, they are publicly traded uh, here in the states under the stock symbol S K R E F, S K R E F, and then up in up in uh, the T S X Venture Exchange under the stock symbol uh, S K E. Uh, and of course, their website, skeenaresources.com, which we're showing our television audience here. Walter Coles is the president and CEO. Uh, he is a mining expert. He's Beautiful. in the mining business. He runs a mining company, and he's the guy we want to talk to about gold. Walter, thanks so much for swinging by today. Oh, uh, such a pleasure to be here with you guys. So let's talk a little bit about uh, about what I was talking about with respect to gold staring down the barrel of 1750. And it's sort of recently kind of in lockstep with the equities. I mean, gold has gone up with equities in the last couple of weeks. And then but then there's, there's that inverse relationship also. What do you what do you attribute that to? Is gold's coming in fashion, is it not, as we print more money? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I couldn't be more optimistic about the outlook for the price of gold. Um, but getting to your point about gold trading in lockstep with equities, we saw that happen back in 2007 and 8 during That's right. the global financial crisis. Gold sold off initially; it dropped from around a uh, thousand all the way down to I, I want to say like around 700, and and then over the three years from uh, 2008 to 2011, gold ran all the way up to 1900. So uh, my view is it, it sells off initially because of uh, liquidity issues, margin calls. But then as you see these uh, unleashing of, of government stimulus programs, uh, government debts going up, monetization of debt, you know, all these factors that gold bugs have long talked about, um, you know, my view is that's going to going to drive a terrific uh, bull run in, in the price of gold over the next couple of years. One uh, one uh, secret that Walter uh, failed to tell you here was that he is he was a research analyst with UBS in New York for many years. Oh, he knows he, that he, stuff. UBS investment. So yeah, he's so he's, he's a major. He's miner. A yeah, he's a major miner. He's a t <laughs> he's a top down guy. Uh, understands uh, understands how this works. Do you do you feel that there's an issue uh, with the debasement of the U.S. dollar, my friend? Because look, we are pouring dough into the system, not just quantitative easing, but in the repo markets as well. And not to get too out of the weeds for our audience, because I want to be able to make sure that Johnny Lunchbucket, as well as Cindy, CEO, understand what we're talking about. But but look, you when you flood the system with dollars, uh, at some point, something's got to give, which also makes precious metal a very attractive uh, item at that point. Don't you agree? 100 percent. You nailed it. Um, with the uh, rise in debt levels, uh, they're rising much faster than income levels. So it's not sustainable. Uh, right now, U.S. government debt is $24 trillion versus uh, $21 trillion of GDP last year. So we're at 114% we're at uh, GDP to or debt to GDP sure. ratio. Right. You go back to 2007, it was 62%. And then when you layer on all of the, the stimulus programs that are coming, we're probably going to be at like $30 trillion of debt outstanding. Wow. To put wow. this in context for your, your viewer, today we're at $195,000 of debt. Per taxpayer in the United States. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just, not, yeah. If you, if you go to us, well, just go to usdebtclock.org if you want to get really sad yeah. about your life. The numbers, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. So governments have three choices: they can raise taxes. Mm -hmm. I mean, to 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 uh, sort of bring this debt to mitigate, to right? Line. You either raise taxes or you cut spending, and neither of these are attractive options for politicians. So there is a third choice, okay, and is monetize your debt, and that's what's happening today. The Treasury is selling government bonds, okay. and the Fed is printing money and buying those same government bonds. Yes. Hey, wait a easy. minute. That's <laughs> the easy way out. That's well, and, and, and keep in mind, though, it is the easy way out, which, you know, which, you, know you know how that works out. Most Isn't that like taking a bucket of water out of the shallow end of the pool and going to the deep it's end? It's like cutting off the top of the blanket and sewing <laughs> it on the bottom of the blanket. Yeah. It's right? It's almost like daylight savings times in, in economic terms, to That's, make you understand what it is. It's perfect. Hey, Walter, can you tell us about your company? Because obviously uh, you are in, uh, you're in the gold business. You can protect your savings by investing in gold. And that's not him saying it. It's me saying it. So it's, as long as there's, I understand there's no agenda here. But I'm, I'm, I'm accurate. And i got a pretty smart economist on the line there. Talk about what you guys are up to. Yeah, so I, I personally decided to make a bet on gold by going and acquiring uh, past-producing gold mines. 
and and we have acquired uh, a mine called SK Creek. We bought it from, or we optioned it from Barrick, which is the second biggest gold producer in the world. Mm. And we're going to put it back into production. I think it will be sort of the you know top 10 or 15 uh, gold mine in North America in terms of size and production. We're probably three years away from getting it into production, but uh, it's a it's a levered bet on the price of gold. Basically, and 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 with and with respect to what you guys are, you guys are miners. Is that what you explore here in the exploration field? Well, uh, I, I mean, I'm based here in Vancouver now. I'm a, I'm a U.S. citizen, but I came here because there's incredible technical talent in Canada for building these type of assets. Mm -hmm. and, and I've assembled a team, and we're advancing this project. And and like I said, hope to have it in production in the next three, you know, probably around three three and a half years. And uh, and and you know, what's interesting is when you say you took a bet on it. As a former equities guy, and a research analyst, and a guy that holds a, a bachelor in economics from uh, uh, from I think it's University of Richmond, mm -hmm. that's a pretty calculated guess. I'm assuming. It's very calculated. I, I mean, it, I, in other I, words, I, listen to the guy. <laughs> I mean, here's a guy who spent all his life in equities, yeah. and now he's focusing 100% on gold. I think gold's on its way up. You know, binge watching of Mr. T episodes. No, was just oh, there's yeah. an increase. I swear they love that's, that. That's not. <laughs> hey, Walter, will you come back on the air with us? I, 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 I love I, your I knowledge love base, and it, it would be great to talk a little more about your company and stuff. I'm glad whoever brought you to us uh, uh, was pretty smart, because I think obviously uh, uh, it's a uh, it's it was it was a uh, it was a right call, especially right this time. Skeena is the name of the company. S K E E N A for our radio audience who's not watching us on TV. That's right. We're both radio and TV at the same time. Skeena Resources Limited is the name of the company. Uh, you can go to SkeenaResources.com. Their stock symbol S K R E F is in Frank. Uh, and then on the, the uh, TSXV exchange, they're S K E. But I'll put this up at BigBizShow.com. 